Hi, Herman. Another package from the east. Is your mother home? Good afternoon. On the international front, amid rumor and speculation, there are allegations that unnamed Swedish pharmaceutical manufacturers were involved in a so-called tissue trade with the former Eastern regime. Sources said that the tissue collected from the citizens at so-called clinics was part of a secret deal made before the recent and dramatic political changes in Eastern Europe. Officials there denied accusations, claiming the tumors were a routine problem due to high levels of toxicity and to only a minor inconvenience. Throughout the whole affair, the Swedes have refused comment, leading to further speculation. Now, this just in from Poland. same thing. Aneurysm, nothing you can do. It's not like a heart attack, cancer, or leukemia. It's more like a time bomb that could go off. Or Alzheimer's. My God, aluminum. And there is this strep infection that eats your skin one inch per minute, just keeps going. You seen Marta? She's not very good looking. Oh! So, Herman, how are you making out? Or well, to tell you the truth, things are starting to get pretty weird around the house. She had a tough time. What actually happened over there? She never told you? No way. I mean, she never talked about that. I had left years before she had decided to stay. She was in love as a young scientist. He had his career there and could not leave. And then, five years later, she showed up with you. No explanations. Can't remember anything at all? Well, you know, it's, it's like a total blank. So what will you do now? I don't know. I was thinking of going to Europe. Good, Herman. Yeah. Because, Herman, you never know who you are unless you know where you come from. I have a friend you can contact. Guten Tag, meine lieben Zuschauer. Heute im Östorreport beschäftigen wir uns mit einer außergewöhnlichen Geschichte aus unserer schönen industrialisierten Heimat, nicht wahr? Unser ausgesprochen größten technischen Einsatz wurde heute in Piranha aus der Elbe geborgen. Der Fisch wurde sofort von Angler Dietrich Deppendorf den zuständigen Behörden übergeben und Naturaufsichtsamtsleiter Frau Meiskorn bestätigte, dass der Fisch mit seiner ovalen Form und seinem unterständigen Untergeber zu der Gruppe der Piranhas gehört. Dieser Fisch, so Herr Maiskorn, ist in unseren Gewässern eigentlich nicht einheimisch. Hi, uh, in Chilego, Sie bitte. Ich habe ein... Entschuldigung Sie bitte. Ich habe ein... Entschuldigung. Oh, hi. Entschuldigung Sie bitte. Uh, ich habe ein Adress hier. Uh, oh, hey, hey, no, it's okay. Um, uh, ich, uh, I'm wondering if... Zellen von Reizbarkeit? Empfinden Sie Unbehagen beim Hören scheinbar harmloser rhythmischer Geräusche wie etwa lauter Musik? Stechende Schmerzen? Das könnte ein frühes Warnzeichen eines größeren Problems sein. Erkenne die Symptome und vermeide das Problem. 
Begeben Sie sich heute noch in eine Ihrer örtlichen Polikliniken und lassen Sie eine kurze und harmlose Untersuchung machen. Und denken Sie stets an unsere Grundsätze. Vermeiden Sie Blickkontakt und Gespräche mit fremden Personen und tragen Sie stets Ihre Ohrschützer. Diese Sicherheitsprodukte sind jedem Bürger unentgeltlich erhältlich. Vermeide das Problem. I'm afraid he won't hear you. Earplugs. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Bjorn, by the way. Herman, how you doing? Good, good. I, I take it you're not from around here. No, no, we're from Kansas. This is Norman. Kansas? What are you guys doing here? We're missionaries. Missionaries? Oh, Kurt, Jesse. Oh, you're Jehovah's. Um, no, you're Mormons. How long have you been here? Since the change. There's still so much to be done here. And uh, you like Bjorn again? What? Yeah, he's Bjorn, I'm Norman. Yeah. No, no, I'm like Bjorn. Bjorn again, like a Christian, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what brings you to this little corner of the world? Well, actually, I was born here. Uh, you see, my mother left when I was really just a baby. I've come back to... Uh... Find yourself? Well, yeah, sort of like that. Um, but more like to discover my roots. Mm -hmm. And you have relatives? Oh, well, I have an address of a certain guy, but I, I think the cab driver left me off at the wrong street. Uh-huh. Say, guys, you don't find it like a little strange around here. How do you mean? Oh, I mean the way that everyone like stares at you. It feels like, well, it feels like we're in that movie, you know? Movie? Yeah, yeah, that movie with Peter Fonda where they witness this satanic ritual and the rest of the time are being chased by these devil worshippers and like everyone belongs to this cult, see? <laughs> you haven't seen it, huh? Uh, well, I guess you could say that we've kind of gotten used to the eccentricities of the place. They don't get many tourists around here these days, so naturally they're curious. Oh, I mean, what's this, this thing with the earplugs? Uh, is it some kind of like European tradition or culture or something? That's, um, that's sort of a mystery, really. There's been an outbreak of a certain virus, an ear infection. Nobody really knows much about it. Uh-huh, and, and how do you get it? Some say word of mouth, talking to strangers, listening to music, contamination from the West, that sort of thing. I wouldn't take it too personally, Herman. They always need a scapegoat for these sorts of things. It's more of a local problem. There's an election coming up. <laughs> you don't believe it? No, we try to take a broad view of these things. <laughs> Nobody from the outside's been infected, and they've set up a series of clinics to deal with it. No, I wouldn't worry too much about it, Herman. Just be careful who you talk to, and <laughs> don't, don't drink the water. Well, we really have to be off. So much to be done here. Why don't you go see the inspector? He'll probably be able to help you out. The inspector? Yeah, Inspector Ehrlicher. He sort of runs this town. <laughs> Never be too careful around here. Skinheads, you know. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I, I saw this thing on TV about uh, Rostock. Mm-hmm. Why don't you go see the inspector? He'll help you out. And the hotel, I guess? Go see him. A very nice man. He'll help you. Oh yeah, uh, I'll, 
upstairs. Danke. Herein. Herr Inspektor? Ja. Kann ich Ihnen irgendwie helfen? Hi. Uh, I'm Herman. Uh, Herman Dickman. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Well, you see, I'm looking for someone here in this town and... Ah, and they sent you to me. You know, there are certain forces at work who are trying to undermine all the things we've been trying to do. Forces that have not quite made the adjustment to the new state of things. I have big plans for this town. We need uh, shopping centers, gas stations, everything. Think of it as a new frontier. I have people that are eager to help, but these anarchists... They're making things difficult. They have a sickness. I have tried to help. Oh, wait, wait, come on, Dick, come on. And uh, was your mother's name uh, Beilbrucker? Yeah. And you've come to visit your brother, Helmut? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Brother? Not here. But he does live here? Yes. Come in and make yourself a home, please. We have to be careful who we let in the house. These state healthcare workers, they barge right in and tell us it's an epidemic that we have to get tested, the required surgery done. To be careful who you talk to, whatever, whatever. State healthcare workers, but like, why wouldn't you believe them? Oh, if you've been through what we have, you tend to be a little skeptical about government programs. And if it's not them, those damn Mormons. Mormons? Es ist nicht mehr wie früher. Die Zeiten haben sich geändert. Nichts ist mehr wie es war. Wir haben zu viel Geld in dieses Programm investiert. Wir können uns nicht leisten, dass uns der Stoff ausgeht. Aber was kann ich noch tun? Ich leite diese Klinik, ich versuche die Leute reinzukriegen. Die Kliniken sind nicht gut genug. Aber nichts ist mehr wie früher. Ich muss jetzt die korrekten Kanäle einhalten. Die Leute mögen zu sehr das, was sie haben. Sie wollen es nicht aufgeben. Karaoke-Clubs schießen wie Pilze aus dem Boden. Das sind diejenigen, die ein schlechtes Beispiel geben. Diese Dinge gehören uns. Erinnern Sie sich daran, als dieses Programm in Schwierigkeiten kam, als dieser große Designer-Virus außer Kontrolle geriet? Wir haben die Sache damals erledigt. Wenn Sie uns nicht geben können, was wir wollen, müssen wir es uns selber nehmen. I'd be careful, Herr Inspector. You'll leave me. Do you, do you have anything like aspirin? What's wrong with you? I seem to have a bit of an earache. Ear <laughs> Everybody got an earache, my shots. But there are aches and there are aches, if you know what I mean. What's your name, honey? And don't say Dorothy, because you ain't in Kansas anymore, girl. I'm Herman. I'm Casper. But you can call me Etina. Here, take some of this. Hey, what's this? Where does this stuff come from? It's local. The best thing that this town has to offer. A cure all. Headache, earache, makes life here bearable. With only a few side effects. Side effects? Slightly addictive. Here, let me help you. It's also an oral enhancer. Yeah. Stimulates the inner ear. Uh-huh. 
That's why we all take it before we go to the club. You'll see it makes for a real exciting musical experience. so great. Everybody gets stage fright, Herman. It's normal. What are you talking about? I feel like I'm gonna be sick. You just sound a little hungry, Herman, that's all. Yeah. Hungry, yeah. <laughs> Guess I haven't eaten all day. And it's been quite a busy day, hasn't it? I, I didn't even know I had a brother. <laughs> And I didn't know my little brother was so cute. But now, it's time to feed, seeing as you were the guest. It's my treat. Ah, ha, ha. hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is my planet water, Herman from Canada, my little brother, Herman from Canada. <laughs> He's a little shy, but we'll loosen him up, huh? <laughs> Why don't you say hello to, uh, what's your name? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
feel like uh, dinner? zum Tatort, wo wir unseren dann lieben Inspektor Ehrlicher äh, begrüßen. Herr Inspektor, gibt es einen Zusammenhang zwischen den äh, Piranhas und der gefundenen Leiche? Äh, ja, wir haben zurzeit eine steigende Anzahl von Gewalttätigkeiten von Seiten der Skinheads zu verzeichnen und... Äh, die, was, äh, was nicht die äh, Skinheads, sondern die äh, Piranhas. Oh, oh, ja, die verdammten Piranhas, ja. Sie kommen hier äh, aus, sie sind nicht aus unseren Gewässern und äh, wenn sie hierher kommen, sorgen sie für jede Menge Ärger. Und ich denke, ich spreche für uns alle, wenn ich sagen kann, äh, wir haben Karpfen und Barsche und sogar Biber in unseren äh, Gewässern und all diese Fische und Lebewesen können friedlich miteinander koexistieren. Ich danke Ihnen. understand that this was a very heavily industrialized region. We have problems with various toxic phenomena. So what are you saying? This is some kind of cancer? Herman, we have been trying to help, but we can't help those that refuse to help themselves. We provide clinics, consulting and testing. These anarchists, they're just undermining everything that we're trying to make right. They don't, they refuse to consult the doctors. These are benign tumors that, if caught in time, are only a minor inconvenience. 
But why wouldn't they help themselves if they know? Paranoia, amnesia, forgetfulness, laziness. They just hate the state. They are against order. They want just the bad. But, but surely... They're anarchists. This whole thing doesn't make sense. Um, let me give you a little advice. Things work differently around here. You might be getting in over your head. Go back to where you come from. Sometimes it's best not to know everything. But this is where I come from. Hello? Yeah, noch eine Leiche gefunden. You don't look too well yourself. It's just a little like. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This man can help. He's a specialist. Hey. Herman, you've got to be a little more careful around here. What are you talking about? What are you doing blowing this guy away? Oh, Herman, remember what we were talking about yesterday? But you said there was nothing to worry about. Not true. I said to be careful who you talk to. This here gentleman is just the sort of fellow you don't want to be having any long conversation. We don't want to get you too worked up. Panically, you know. It's an affliction, a problem, really. Sort of a reaction to the toxicity. The devil's work. This is one thick mother. Yeah. This thing here can rip a hole in your ear the size of your fist. Jesus Christ. What the hell is that? This little fellow is what the fuss is all about. The virus induces a tumor. It starts to put pressure here on the inner ear. Makes you go crazy for the beat. Anything that's got a rhythm, they can't live without it. Tumors are God's way of saying that something isn't right. A physical manifestation of something more internal, deviant. Enough of this. We've got to get back to the church. They don't call us, you know, God's foot soldiers for nothing. But wait, I just want to... You don't look too good. A little jet lag? Just, just a headache. Yeah. Herman, you've got to be careful around here. Why don't you go see the doctor? Herman, finally. We'd almost given up on you. What have you done to me? What have you given me? stuff, isn't it? It's that damn liquid. Oh, it is easy. Doctor, it's possible to get rid of it, to be cured. 
Maybe things will get back to normal around here. Normal? But you knew. How could you let me get infected? You can't catch what you already have. Don't you remember where you come from? Who you are? Do you want me to tell you? If you have it removed, you'll die. It's too late. It's a part of us. Our father? Our mother? Our father discovered a way of creating addictions to certain kinds of acoustical frequencies, rhythms, sounds. But before he could present his theories, he needed to test them. So you and I became his first test subjects. When mom found out, she went crazy. She fled the country. But she couldn't take both of us. She had to choose. Why are we running? What do they want? Our tissue. Our tumors. Don't you get it? This slows the speed of its mutation. He was working on a cure. A way of reversing of what he had started. Who are you talking about? Our father. His discovery was just what they were looking for. A way of creating mass addiction to the rhythms of the factory floor. A physical dependency on the rhythmic pound of the engines of industry. The program was started immediately. Everyone was given a serum. And the results were dramatic. Workers worked harder and longer, waking each morning, craving for the pounding rhythm of their machine. Punch press, steel fabricator, textile shredder. Things were going well. Production increased, workers were happy. But then slowly, this addiction to the rhythms of industry started to change. People started to get the same effect from the new music. Heavy metal, industrial acid house, and then techno. Haben Sie ein Radio? Verstehen Sie mich? Radio. Sound. Ha? Ah. Baby. Big room. Yeah. Verstehen Sie mich? Party time. Ha? Sometimes there are other reasons. We must be here. See, everything's in a state of flux, changing from one thing to the other. We are part of the landscape, mutating to a rhythm that's barely heard. With each passing beat comes a change in our body until, who knows? Nothing is certain anymore. That's the thrill of it. Look, it's an open field.
The beauty of it all really is that we are the children of the age of communication. We have a virus transmitted by language, music, sounds, through the airwaves, <laughs> electronic pulses, flying silently and instantly around the world. We are the first, the new breed, the franchise man on a new wave of electronic telecommunication, global bedroom, long distance feelings, one world, homogenized by simultaneous transmission. <laughs> 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 